Hello everyone, thanks for watching. I am Dr. Lobel, a recent graduate from the University of Pennsylvania's Periodontics and Periodontal Prosthesis Residency from the dental school. And today I would like to share with you my experience on these two specialties, what they are and how they actually help me to restore my patients in order to achieve predictable and aesthetic results. First, let's start by explaining what periodontics is. Periodontics will derive from the word periodontium that is basically the tissues that will help support the teeth. By this means, we will be referring to the gums and the bone and the aspects that will mean to actually make them healthy, disease-free, or regenerate them, such as with bone grafts, make them with, uh, treat them better with soft tissue grafts. And when we have teeth missing, we will actually be able to place some implants to restore the function of our patient. What is prosthodontics? Well, prosthodontics is the other part that we will look at. It's no longer the pink part or the support, but actually the tooth or the crown, crown portion of the tooth. And it will involve aesthetics and function. And when we basically work with them, we will be able to change the smile of the patient and how will they actually be able to chew. And the specialty will actually help us to restore the teeth that we previously ha helped or tried to keep, or the implants that we place whenever those teeth were not too good or they were missing. How did this actually help me? Well, the patients came to our clinic basically influenced by the TV, the magazines, looking at all the smiles of all these models and actors and, and asking for something like it, mainly asking for aspects such as beauty and aspects such as function. However, what we really started with was actually this situation. And as you can see by all these examples, we are pretty far away from where the patients are asking for. And when we take, for example, one case and we plan it slowly to where exactly we would want those final teeth to actually be, we can see that we are missing gum, we're probably missing bone, we're obviously missing some teeth, we're missing the occlusion, the function, we're missing many, many aspects. And it is by combining the specialty of periodontics and prosthodontics what would actually help me to eventually restore this. Of course, not leaving aside other specialties such as orthodontics, or endodontics, oral medicine, etc. So what would be our route, our way to move forward? Basically, we would start with initial therapy, making sure that we remove all the disease as possible, as we can, and as least traumatic as possible, proceeding with an initial periodontal surgery, where with the surgical methods, we will try and maintain that bone and support of the teeth whenever present. There will be some times where, although teeth are present, they will be missing some bone and support. We will try and regenerate that part here. There will be other times where the teeth will be missing, and uh, subsequent bone resorption would actually happen. So there we would actually need to grow this bone back in order to place our implants to replace the roots of the teeth and be able to restore the patient again. And other times we will also need some soft tissue grafting. We'll need to put some gum grafts in order to help on the maintenance and the long-term results of our restorations. Proceeding by placing our implants now where there's bone and where everything is nice. Proceeding with the teeth preparations in order to put our restorations on them and eventually deliver the final restorations, giving the patients a smile back. Now, let's see a few examples on how this actually worked. This is an example of a patient that came to us with a very aesthetic concern. She said she couldn't smile, she couldn't do basically much, and she was, she was not going out of her house. And basically by proceeding with surgical approaches and, and also restorative, giving her new teeth, we could actually, as we can appreciate, give her a smile back, give her a nice, pleasing aesthetics that she could now go and walk with confidence. Looking at another example, we can see a patient that in this case had more teeth, but these teeth were actually not in that such of a good situation, and we actually decided to replace them with implants to give us a nice, predictable support to give, a, to give our prosthesis and give her function and aesthetics back. Let's look now at another view of the same patient where we can see now that 
color, the smile, even the patient changed the way her hair is to basically go out. She really gained confidence. If we take a look intraorally, we can see in the situation that the teeth are not looking good. They've lost their support of the gums. There's disease present, there's teeth missing. And by doing these types of procedures, we're actually able to restore her function with these prostheses held by implants and, and make her a happy patient. Here we can see another patient, a bit of an extreme case where we needed to restore both top and the bottom in order to be able to achieve a result like this one. Now the patient is really happy. He's going out on the street, he's smiling all day. They're, they're super confident now with their lives. As you can see here. And as I said, this would not only be implants, this could also be on teeth. And this young, wonderful patient, she came to us complaining that she couldn't even eat. And we basically restored all, all her function, achieving these results. And not only with treatments like this, we will be able to modify the actual smile of the patient, but also the profile and shape of the patient's face. And by giving the function, we can actually see now how this patient has actually been, been 20 years younger. And we can see here in a frontal picture how the goals, the initial goals of aesthetics and function were achieved and the patient was happy. Thank you all for listening. I hope that you enjoyed the examples of uh, the joint uh, work between periodontics and prosthodontics in advanced restorative cases. And I hope to see you again.